Hello everybody and welcome to today's video. I am Damon and what I have for you today is basically you're going to take your 1080p screen and you're going to upload it to 1440p and it look it's going to look as best as it possibly can. That's that's the main thing. Okay? I've tested over and over. A lot of people I've never seen anybody do this type of video, so I'm going to show you how to do it today. I do this and it looks great. I put it up on a uh, a 4K 70 inch TV. 80 inch or something my dad's room in it it looks phenomenal streams recordings the only thing with streams high foliage high movement that's when you get that tearing the bit rate not looking great okay so we're going to start out with the stream info set yourself up this is for youtube primary youtube ingest server do not use your rescale output cbr Bitrate varies for your internet. Max is 18. I use 12 because of my mine. Keyframe interval, that should be already set. Max quality, high. Uh, and then set this to two. Um, don't use look ahead. That use too much that uses too much of GPU. Unless you want to, it doesn't do much. Set make sure you use that. That's great. And then here's your recording. Um, make sure you are MP4. This may not even be an option for you. MP4. Don't use rescale, invec coder. You always want to use invec if you have Nvidia. CQP, this is the important part. This is what's going to separate your recordings and your streams. Use 22. If you go any lower than that, it's not going to give you, it's not going to make your quality any better. CQ, the lower you go, the better the quality gets. So the highest I'd probably go is like 27, 25. If, you're ha if your stream is lagging, set it a little bit higher or if your recording is lagging set it a little bit higher max quality high profile max p frames make sure you set that um and then this is the important part this is your canvas and your scaled resolution i tried just using my scaled resolution for 1440p and 1080p this for a while so you won't have to mess with your you won't have to drag your screen to the corner here i'll show you what i'm talking about in a second um, but it doesn't look as good that way because you're making the computer transfer it from 1080p to 1440 instead of just recording 1440p or, or, or recording a 1080p monitor with a 1440p software. That's the best way to do it. And this is how you do it. Canvas resolution, output scaled resolution. What you'll notice is your screen will pop up and it'll be about can you even you can't see my mouse okay my bad can't even see my mouse hey i'm kind of jumping in the middle here because i just noticed that I, I missed something very important like i said or i might say it in the future i'm not sure i haven't got to that part yet but like i said this is editing me one thing that you will for sure notice now i can't i think you can see my screen right now so wait no you cannot okay so let me set show you okay so what i was talking about was the fact that it will do this right here. Because as soon as you set it, you're on a 1080p monitor, you set it to 1440, it's going to look like that. I'm sorry. This is what it'll look like. It'll look something like this. And all you got to do is drag it down to the corner. So you are recording a 1080p screen with a 1440p software. You're stretching that 1080p. And when you stretch it this way, it looks as best as you can get it. So... Plain and simple. Back to the recording. Look, forgive me. I'm jumping in again. I'm jumping in again. The only reason why you do this, and don't do it with um, NVIDIA's software recording. You can easily set your, your recordings to 1440p. All you have to do is go into the settings and set it to 1440p. Very easy. The, the two things, the reason why I don't use the NVIDIA software, I'm going to start using it, is because my webcam is already in the corner I can set it to record it in the corner instead of recording it and then putting a video file on top of my recording that's the only reason why I use OBS to do this and I'm sure a lot of people do the same thing but for the people that use Nvidia that that is a very simple way there's a very simple way to do that one this is just for people that use OBS and why do I use OBS so that I don't have to set the camera up in the editing Back to the video. Either way, you get the gist. What you want to do is just pull it to the corner here, and that's going to be that's going to set you up for the best way. So, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, like and subscribe. If you found it useful, 
you don't have to subscribe. I do not want to force anybody to subscribe, but subscribe if you want to. Like if you enjoyed it. Give me some feedback if I need it. Thank you.